Hello. In this video, we will be taking a look at how to set or retrieve an IP address on an Engine Echo Lane 3000 network device. First, make sure the device is physically disconnected from the network while leaving the power on. Reboot the device by pressing and holding the period key and the yellow back key simultaneously for 2 seconds. Do not reconnect the Ethernet cable to your network switch or router. We want to leave the device disconnected to make sure the device stays on the this lane is closed screen. Once the lane 3000 device is back on, press 0001 to access the admin menu. If the communication type is not set to Ethernet, select communication type, then Ethernet. Once selected, hit the red X button to go back to the admin menu. Hit the green button to confirm we would like to save the changes and reboot. It will take a few moments for the pin pad to finish the reboot process. Now we've enabled the pin pad to communicate with an Ethernet communication protocol. Once the device finishes the reboot, we need to enter the admin menu once again by pressing 0001. Next, we will need to take a look at the Ethernet parameters. Select Ethernet parameters, then IP configuration. From here we can see our current Ethernet configuration. A new device will have DHCP enabled by default. We will want to disable this so we can set a static IP address. A DHCP address is one obtained from the router, and DHCP addresses change periodically, so this isn't what we want in a point-of-sale environment. A static address, by contrast, is an IP address that never changes, which is exactly what we want. We want our static IP address to be unique within the same subnet as our POS system, but outside of our DHCP range in order to avoid IP address conflicts. An IP address conflict can cause communication issues not only for our network pin pad, but also other devices on the local area network. Now let's set our address. Scroll down to IP address, then hit the green button. Click the yellow back button to clear the current IP, then enter a valid one. Now let's set our subnet. Remember, it must be on the same subnet as our POS system. Now for the gateway. The gateway is referring to the router, so enter the router's address here. For the first DNS address, confirm it is equivalent to the router's address. And for our second DNS, we will enter Google's DNS address for DNS redundancy. That's all for the changes here. Let's exit by hitting the red X button. Then the green button to save our changes. Now we need to hit the red X button one more time. This will trigger a reboot. Plug the device back into the network. Now we should be able to communicate with our pin pad using IP. Let's try to ping from one of our POS systems to confirm we're able to talk to it. Good, we've received a response. Now we know it's working. Thanks for watching. 